back again. That must mean you're hungry. Luckily for you, I've got a nice loaf. This one comes from Alan Watts. And it goes like this. When a person no longer confuses himself with the definition of himself that others have given him, he is at once universal and unique. I love it when someone takes an idea that I've been struggling to verbalize and expresses it clearly and simply. In this particular case, Alan Watts is describing what I like to call the human paradox, which is the seemingly contradictory nature of human beings. The fact that we are both unique as individuals and universal as a collective. To me, it's like an onion. There are so many layers to a human being. And as you start to peel those layers back, you realize that at the very core, we're all very, very similar. That's the universal aspect that Alan Watts mentions here. But if all you do is look at the surface of the human animal, what you're seeing is the unique layer, the unique appearance, the unique personality, the unique mind with its ideas and its beliefs and its unique experiences. So in that case, we are all unique. No two humans are identical in this regard. We all have different personalities, different cosmetics, if you will. But as you keep peeling those layers, you start to realize that though the ideas within the mind differ, the mind is universal. It functions the same in all peoples, regardless of their cultural or religious or political background. You also see that the human body is universal. Some people are taller, some people have black hair, some people have blonde hair, some people are very short. These are cosmetics. We all have four limbs, we all have ten digits, we all have eyes, noses, and brains, and all of these parts function the same regardless of where you're from and what you believe. So you see that there is this paradox to human nature. As individuals, we're unique, but taken together as a whole, we are universal, one and the same. So what Alan Watts tells us further is that when a person stops identifying with the definitions that others have given them, then, and only then, will you be authentic and at the same time alike with all other human beings. Because people are always defining you. People are always assessing you and labeling you and trying to fit you in the little boxes that bring them comfort. Nobody likes an unknown. Nobody likes ambiguity. We have this craving for certainty and confidence. And so when we meet a person, we're immediately trying to fit them into a category. What Alan Watts tells us is that if we identify with those categories, then we're neither unique nor universal. We're asleep. But when we cast aside these definitions and these labels, and we start to be ourselves instead, then we become unique and universal. At least that's what I get out of it. So take it for what it's worth. Thanks for joining me and live well, my friends.